Earlier in the year, I posted a video of a uh, bushing insert for the BMW 3 Series X-Drive transfer case mount. Um, that video got quite a few views and I've, I've actually sold a little over 20 of those now, just purely word of mouth over email. Uh, I had a gentleman ask if I could make a similar insert for the BMW X5 uh, F15 generation. This is what that mount looks like. Um, QA, QC dog over here, inspecting the work. So it's a similar idea where you have these cavities in the middle um, and, and the insert is simply gonna go in from one end. So uh, Lola, can you, can you go lay down? So what I'm gonna do is uh, put a little bit of this, this polyurethane installation grease on, on the outsides here and on the insides, anywhere where it's gonna be sliding past. This one is gonna be a little bit of a tight fit. So here's the, the bushing all greased up. You're gonna be inserting it from the side with the, the deeper dish right here. The other side looks like that. So it's gonna be from the side with this big rubber lip on it. Really obvious which way it goes in. Let's see if I can get this in with uh, without using a press or something. I'm just gonna put some weight on it. Looks like it's going in. Well, I might need to put the phone down and use two hands. It, it is pretty, pretty tight to go in. Uh, this is, like I said, uh, first prototype, one take on putting this in so far. So let me put the phone down and uh, if I can't get it all the way in, then I will uh, make a few modifications to the design and, and make a new one. All right, well, I found it what was getting snagged on. There's some lip of rubber in there. It might've been that casting excess that we were talking about that I, I should have trimmed off more with a knife. But in either case, uh, I think I'm just gonna kind of trim that there with a with a razor and then I think we'll be able to get it the rest of the way in because it's almost there. This is as far as I was able to push it in with just my two hands, no press or anything. Um, what I'm gonna do is design an installation tool and see if that'll uh, that'll help us out. This just needs to go down in about another centimeter or so, just so that this orange lip is, is flush with this surface here. So let me come back when I have that in hand. All right, so in the last clip, you saw the bushing like this. It hasn't moved. I haven't uh, played with it anymore, except that I've 3D printed a installation tool. This is just gonna act as a driver in conjunction with a long bolt. This is an M10 sized bolt. Uh, you could use M12, you could use a 3 8 or whatever the, the size above 3 8 is, whatever you've got around. Um, it has to be quite long. So your local hardware store probably has something that's gonna work. You'll just have to take some measurements. There's Lola. So all we're gonna do, uh, it's very obvious based on the uh, the pattern here, this is gonna go like that. And then I've got a big fender washer on the top to distribute the load, just to give our installation tool the best chance that it can. Go like that. And then on the bottom, you can see it barely protrudes. I'm gonna start the nut there. And this is actually the first time that I've, I've used the tool. So uh, let me just kind of Two thousand years later. Three twenty-eight AM. Few inches later. So after quite a bit of time playing around with this and just really horsing on it, I was able to get it run all the way down. You can see it's it's flush here with the face, which is the design. And on the other side, it's it's also flush. So that's good. Uh, the amount of effort it took assures me that this is probably not just gonna fall out by itself. And even if it were to come loose, it could only go about a centimeter, half an inch or so before hitting something that's holding the mount in place. So anyway, I am going to modify my file just a little bit so that it doesn't take quite so much effort to install, but I believe at the moment we have a proof of concept and this mount 
I mean, I didn't do a before and after as far as just a, a flexing test, but I can I can tell you that this this mount is a lot more rigid than it was before, which is should be no surprise based on the amount of material that we've added to it. As with the 3 Series X-Drive mount, you can contact me if you'd like to buy one. Uh, I'm working on setting up some sort of a more formal web store. I've got some other Porsche 944 stuff that, that I'd like to, to list formally as well. But at the moment, just contact me privately. Um, I can I can make these in different shore hardness values, 95A, 98A, 64D, things like that. Um, just get in touch with me and we'll talk it out. I can ship internationally, domestic, but but really this is just help out my buddies and stuff like that at the moment. Well, thanks for watching this far and you guys have a great rest of the day.